for you the Marvel Legends Mark 42 movie Iron Man. Oh, shit, I got some paint on me from the toy already. That's weird. But, yeah. So, the articulation, head goes forward. I mean, head goes back pretty good. And, it actually, you can actually give him some good flight poses, too. And, head goes down. Not that great. It's just decent. And, arms go forward. Back. In and out. And, I like how the shoulder pad doesn't hinder any of the articulation. So, that's pretty good. And, it bends at two point at the elbow. Or as double joint elbows, like some YouTubers like to say, and wrist rotates, and wrist hinges up and down. And he does have a diaphragm joint, which works pretty decent. It goes back pretty good, and I like how they kept the sculpt right here, and they just didn't paint it red and got lazy. It goes up pretty good, but it doesn't go down that gray at all, and it rocks left and right. Uh, ball joint legs it goes forward. But when it goes forward, you have to kind of like turn it back normal. Like, I mean, turn it straight to make it look more natural and normal. And bends at two point at the knee. It looks really ugly when you bend it because the shoulder or, I mean, the armor looks really weird. I don't know why they did that. And legs, I mean, and foot goes down, up, and has the Marvel Legend ankle pivot. Or the ankle pivot, however you want to call it. The couple things I a uh, couple things I hate about this toy is I hate how they didn't paint his repulsor right here. It would have been nice if they painted it white. And I hate how it didn't uh, how they didn't write Mark Four Two right here. That would have been cool. But only the little stuff I hate actually. And here's a size comparison with him and my shaver that I shave my pubic hair with. And here is a size comparison with uh, Iron Patriot or War Machine, whatever you want to call him. It's a pretty cool toy. It looks just like a. Coca-Cola can smash into an Iron Man. Okay, if you get an Iron Man toy and smash a Coca-Cola can, this is what you get after. The repulsor in the middle, or the, um... Fuck, what's it called? Ah, uh, uh, his heart, no. His reactor is painted really nice. I do, I do like how his circle is circled blue and white in the middle, if that even makes sense. So, that's pretty much been my crappy review on a great toy, by the way, which I really love. I like the gold on this figure, dude. It kind of looks real. Well, to me it does because I'm a dumbass. It does look nice in the back too. I like how the spine looks. Looks sculpted done. And his butt looks nice too. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, that's been my review of... I don't know. I, I, don't, I really just don't care. Bye guys. <laughs> oh yeah, and he does come with a build a figure piece for the Iron Monger right here. Which I'm pretty sure they're reusing this for the um, Mandroid figure that's coming out. For the build a figure or whatever. So yeah, if you want a size comparison with the Green Goblin arm here you guys go pretty cool i guess but if you want to make it look like you have both of these toys on camera you just kind of just have to like put them out right here and kind of looks like you have both of those figures like hey guys what's up kind of like that one toy story moment toy story one yeah yeah so here's a here's a uh, size comparison with the uh iron monger and iron man so yeah it's pretty uh bigger than him and more thicker And here's a size comparison with my shaver. And here's a size comparison with War Machine or Iron Patriot. So I'm going to probably end this video now because I'm retarded and I just want to be funny for some reason. So yeah.